Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 21, part 10 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous very short episode, we started with our operations delivering coffee, be berries from this coffee plantation, down to the coffee factory down here in Chundai. Now, basically, from what happened in the previous episode, it took so long while I was not recording to get the coffee beans all ready, I was just like, might as well make another video eventually. But in this episode, we're hopefully going to get past this particular hurdle and deliver all this coffee needed down in, well, Italy. So, I personally have figured out that maybe the reason why there's not a whole bunch of coffee being exported back to Italy is because it doesn't have a whole bunch of catchment of places that of people that need this commodity. So, to fix that, I basically created another international cargo ship, and hopefully, it will start exporting the beans to the platform as soon as there's plenty of them available at the platform be brought in. Right now, only 10 is being shipped out to Napoli. But I also have another set ready to go. So, oh, you get a witch. At least my train is carrying the coffee berries as needed. Hopefully we can get that done. Speaking of which, where is that train that's supposed to carry the coffee down? Let me see. It hasn't... it's still on its way down. Hmm. Guess I'll have to send it back. Hopefully I can just use this slip switch as a way to turn the train around. It'll head back to Lower Chennai to pick up the, to pick up the sacks. Because, unfortunately, these boxcars are just too, sm too slow for my train, and I need to get them straight down. Hmm, maybe I'll add a couple of these refrigeration cars, and then a few of these flatbeds. Oh, will do. At least the train will look a little more realistic. Plus, with all these immigrants coming in, I have to basically make the train a little longer. I think the train is now at nearly 240 meters, and there's still a lot of people waiting to travel by rail. Hmm. So I basically added a bit of a catchment port right here at Sorrento, because since it's connected to this and connected to that, I'm hoping that it will eventually allow loads of coffee beans to finally be brought into town. Or maybe I could just simply connect it via road. Let's see. Not what I was expecting. Hmm. Let's try giving this port a new lease of life. We'll get rid of the original port and place down a new one. A larger one to basically bring in the loads. And in Brazil, I'll need to set up a new cargo ship. Which will pick up the loads of coffee beans from Santos. Which I also want to add a new dock to talk as well. And of course, it has to autosave. 
Because why not? Well, at least the coffee is starting to load up on the platform, although it can be it's just small. train is still still traveling down the main line through the tunnels. Once it gets out of the tunnels, it will just steam down towards the coast. That is, if train 12 can get out of the way before the express goes before the international, well, immigrant train comes through. Let's see. I'll need a large cargo landing for and it's going to take a while for that to spawn in. Speaking of which, i got to get rid of this line. And do the waiting game again. Some of my trains have also started to not show a profit recently. I'm hoping that will be fixed eventually. Anyway. We'll add this port, platform 4, at a full load. This will be International Cargo Ship C. We'll fill up with a full load of coffee, of course. I'll head to Italy, and then add this dock. Then all I'll just have to do is just buy a ship, and then just try to get the coffee loaded and then brought over to, to Pozzoli. Because it just says coffee beans to Naples. It doesn't basically mean just one city in particular, like Na Napoli, which was the original destination for my service. And I also gotta get a truck service set up to deliver these loads. Let's see. Because I think, yep, it has a good catchment area for unloading coffee beans. So some coffee beans can go there. I'll just have to buy another one of these cargo ships and put it on international cargo ship route C. Well, it's going. The shipment is not going up, though. But, hopefully, once these new routes are set up, I should start being able to get coffee ready to be produced at Pozzoli. Nice spin, bruh. Alright. Now the trucks will wait patiently for the for this ship. But in fact, I'm sending it to that and this. Make sure I load up with coffee, of course. Unload. And also do the same on the A. Meaning that when the ships arrive at the port, they are not gonna leave until they have a nice full load of coffee. Or at least one ship with a full load. Plus, with over 260 immigrants on board, this should basically provide a lot of farmers. 
And with a lot of farmers, I can take them, this train can take them all to the coffee plantation far off into the north of the, uh, of the map. Still three coffee beans? Jeez. It's like I have to basically serve more than one. Condition of multiple vehicles is very poor. Great. I'll have to fix that. be an easy stretch, but at least, however, the ships will be able to get to the port. And based on my charts, the only time I had a whole lot of passengers loaded here was back in 1880, at 37. Then it was 36 by 1882. So there's not a whole bunch of people going to the station, despite the fact that it has easy connections to to Santos. I could basically eliminate some of the water around these parts to basically have a bigger connection into Santos, but it probably wouldn't basically be very ethical or very cost-worthy to do. Good old witch. I think I need to send all of my ships back. Well, the ones carrying... well... Immigrants. Which, where is an cargo sh an international cargo ship A? Probably half, probably halfway between Italy and Brazil by this point. So it's going to take a little while longer before it arrives. So, I'm afraid. For at least a little while, I'll have to wait for more coffee beans to be produced. So, until then, I'm gonna cut this video right here, and I'll see you all once the coffee has finally been brought in. And we're back. So, after a little scrutinizing, I realized that this is not gonna work. The coffee wants to be transferred by the real cruise lining company, and not by my own vehicles. So hopefully, this will basically be the last step we need to do. I'm hoping one of these ships that eventually rolls into port is carrying the coffee. Going back to Brazil to see on how things are going. Let me see. Yep, they have carried 200 loads of coffee into the port, but I don't think the ship has been fully loaded yet. Hopefully it will be soon. Though, I have managed to reach over 500 million credits, and my coffee trains are still running like clockwork. 31 units of coffee, no coffee being produced. No immigrants coming in. Only 125 farmers. Might as well do that. And only 350 people are based, immigrants are on board to be converted into, well, farmers. It begs the question, should I restart services here in Italy? 
Well, I'm not so sure. But one thing's for sure, I've gotten a lot of stuff. To Hopefully, one of these ships that's coming into it, coming in, will be the one. I just gotta look for them on the on the map. The ripples going towards in Italy are the ones coming in. Those ships will pick up more immigrants and take them down towards, well, Brazil. All the while, none of my services are running. I'm not so sure when there will be more coffee ships coming in. But hopefully soon. Because there's one ship. another. I thought I saw two. I thought I saw another one earlier. Oh, here's some now. About two of them. Hopefully one of them is carrying the loads of coffee. But in hindsight, since we already taken care of the coffee deliveries by rail in Brazil, I think we could restart operations here in Napoli. Well, around Italy, so to speak. Which hmm. All right, no vehicles on the map. But now let's try to get some of these services restarted here in Italy. We'll start off with four trolleys. We'll also acquire some new engines to haul the trains on the main line, such as this Caledonian Railway 179 Class 440 for the passenger trains, which the passenger cars for this service will be these, and repainted into this color. On not on Brazil Express, regular Express. And now I just gotta get started on acquiring other engines. Time for me to acquire several more wagons. There's two of these to be used on freight on the freight trains. Now I'll need to get some local trains set up. I'm going to use these new three axle coaches for the passenger service. The 
focus on local train A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Actually, I'll save that engine for something else. Let's see. I'll put this on freight train C1. Freight train C1. Need to replace this engine with something else. Else, retrain C two. And free train C three. Free train E. That's free train D. All right. So let's put the. Let me see. Let's put this engine in charge of delivering machinery to the docks. And require this little tank engine to service the lemon farm. Let's see. And of course, I gotta set up the bus services again, too. I'm gonna get rid of these immigrant ships and these international cargo ships. Along with these blank lines. And let's see. Gonna delete the original station, place down a small one. Oh, wait. I didn't even need to basically delete that one, it was fine as it was. I need to basically get this in a little more to the, point, to the coast. Then place down a single straight road. I'm going to be sure to place down another stop to replace it. But I'm gonna keep the original stations as they were. Now then, let's see. Passenger, Fontanic will be used for the ferry. As this ship will be used for carrying fish. Wait, I set two ships to work on the ferry service. Oh, 
I'll need 10 of these to pick up the loads of fish, bring them to the butchers. Let's see, what other services do I need? All right, I haven't had a bus service here for a while. It was bus service A. Bus service A. Is this bus service D? B? Yep. Bus service B. <clears throat> bus service C. And let me see. Yes, bus service D. I just gotta get some trucks to service on bus service D. That should basically do it. Now that my vehicles are all set up and ready for service once again, I'm just going to basically cut this video right here while I do some minor things, and then it's off again to the waiting game for the arrival of the new ships from Brazil bringing in the loads of coffee. It could be any of these ships rolling in right now. So I'm going to see you all in just a moment once the coffee shipments soon pulls in. Hopefully soon. And we're back. So basically, I have decided to basically continue the recording of this. So technically, I'm not so sure when the ship of coffee would arrive. Hopefully one of these ships that is passing through will be dropping it off. There's just a whole bunch of ships coming in from Italy. I'm not so sure which one is is the one carrying the coffee. Ah, here we go. That's six of the coffee beans so far. But I'm hoping it has all the rest, one of these ships has the rest of them. If not, I'll have to restart immigration services, restart a farmer's train, and stuff like that. Well, in reality, I'm actually going to do that now. I'm only going to operate with limited traffic. Depending on the region. Because I'm not wasting all of my money on new equipment to keep Brazil on the move now. I wanted to get services started back up in Italy. do that one way or another. Let's see, is this connected? Yep. I'm just gonna get a new service set up and take care of the bare essentials. line there. Let's see. The immigration train is still up. Let me see what else. 
I'll need a new farmer's train. Let's see. Farmer's train. New farmer's bus. several of these wagons to make up a new farmer's for a new coffee berry train. They just freight train G. And I'll use the mogul this time around to deliver the loads of freshly made coffee down to the ports. And of course, the caboose. I'll then put this on to freight train H. And then I'll have to set up a new truck service to pick up the loads. Seven it means another load has just been arrived. I'm starting to wonder if the loads were divided among the other ships. Well, no matter. Might as well restart some services, but just only to basically focus on the coffee plantations. All right, that should do it. But of course, I will need to get some new ships to carry my immigrants. Let's see. Let's get a cup. Let's get a pair. Mm, uh, let's get a pair of these Klondikes. Load maximum time. Let's see. There's another ship coming into Naples. And another one just coming over from the horizon. So, again, I'm actually going to cut this video right here. And I'm going to be right back once we nearly hit 200 units of coffee. <laughs> And we're back. So, basically, 125 units of coffee beans have finally arrived into Naples. Which means the rest of the coffee should be arriving very soon. Hopefully, within time, the rest of the beans should basically be brought in by ship. But that was the largest amount of shipment I received from one of the five from one of these boats. Also during the downtime, I actually replaced many of the aging horse-drawn carriages here in Italy with these little man electric trolley cars.
which basically allows my trolleys to be a lot more modern. But the trains are still the same, as always. But the only services in Brazil is the, the immigrant train, the immigrant bus, that basically takes the farmers from the immigration office to the, to the cargo station, a farmer's train, then two freight trains, one carrying coffee berries and the other carrying coffee beans. Hopefully the ship that's coming in should have the last of the coffee beans that we need. And I believe once that is done, I believe this is basically the end of the mission of Sao Paulo. No coffee beans from that one. It's always a puzzle game. Well, a mind game. I don't know when either of these ships are going to pass through that have a load of coffee beans on board. But I'm hoping eventually one will have enough to basically finish this contract. As the pandemic one, I'm not so sure we'll even be able to complete that. Now, it specifically states I have to click on an exclamation mark of a ship coming into port. But that was basically with immigrants. But since my immigrants are being transported to Brazil with my own ships, I basically know I'm going to get this particular, well... Yep, I'm not going to get this bonus task, Metal Completed. However, the, with the immigrant train now basically picking up the first full load of immigrants coming in, we can basically get the loads of coffee beans back up and running. So, sorry for the quick jump cut, I was just going to give you a bit of an update as the adventure goes on. So I promise the next cut, which is this, will be the last before the arrival of the rest of the coffee beans in Naples. So I'm going to be seeing you all in just a bit. And we're back. So, after quite a while of preparation, I believe these last two ships that are coming in might be the ones bringing in the coffee beans. I had a train with over 404 units of coffee beans loaded, and hopefully one of these ships might be able to bring in the last loads needed to complete this scenario. Okay, the one that just arrived first was only picking up the machinery. Also at the same time, my express train also received a bit of a brand new upgrade. If I can find it. Hmm, must be at the other end of the line. Yep. I decided to give it much more stylish bogey coaches instead of the vanilla compartment ones. And according to my balances, the only one that's not making much money is Freight Train H. But the most money made is Freight Train E, which is the one delivering lemons. And the second ship that just arrived did not drop off the coffee beans. There's several other ships coming in from Brazil right now. Hopefully this one is the one that carries the coffee beans. My company account is already over basically nearly 1 billion credits. And I have a score of 33. Which reminds me, where is my HQ? I'm sure I put it down somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Still the same as it is, not growing any bigger. But, as long as I'm still making a bit of a profit, I'm still going to be happy. Hmm. Surprisingly, my bosses are still not making a bit of a profit. Well... This one needs, like, there's 64 people wanting to go into town, and I only have these to operate with. Guess I'll have to basically double it up. Just for the 
food trains. There's, they're not making much of a profit year by year, but at least, however, the money that's being earned from the these deliveries are starting to basically help my businesses out. It just needs more fish to be brought in. Any other ships coming in? No, only this one is coming in right now. These ships are basically playing the waiting game on me. I'm waiting patiently for those ships to arrive with the coffee to finish this scenario, yet they aren't even arriving. Speaking of which, I gotta upgrade this. I gotta have more ample storage space to store these barrels and lemonade. I don't believe it. One billion credits earned. I cannot believe my own eyes. I earned over a billion credits in this scenario. Speaking of which, let me look at my charts. Over the 50 years, the highest deficit was 188. But the highest profit was in 1896 with 67.8 million credits in revenue. Safe to say, I actually built myself quite a progressive tycoon in this particular map. But then again, I still have to wait on some of these ships that are coming into port. Now, I'm normally a very patient person, but sometimes the distances between Brazil and Italy take like forever. I haven't even had a chance to basically time on how long it would take. tender engine that I actually unlocked, but I have yet to use it. I'm just hoping this this tank tender engine will do the trick. Okay, I cannot repaint it. At least my express trains will now run at a much higher rate of speed. About 70 miles an hour. So it makes me to wonder if any of my curves are designed for that speed. Most of my track is only designed to travel it's 62 miles an hour.
But, however, with this new faster locomotive, I'm able to keep up with this. This express train will now really fly. Which, where is that ship that's bringing in the coffee beans? There's one right there, one right there, and that's basically it. Just two ships. One of them has to basically be the one carrying the load. And since I cannot access them, since they are AI controlled, I have no idea on what it could be. Our value has gone up very well. Although we're at 33 points. Not great, but I have no debt. That's a good thing. This faster train actually is too long, well, too short to comply with all my passengers. So, I guess I'll have to add an extra pair of coaches. Let me see, which one did I need to use? There we go. 200 units of passengers. That there is what I call an express service. Though I don't really like this op this brake coach at the back end. There we go. Much better. That also begs the question, my local passenger trains also need a replacement, especially on their passenger coaches. Let's see, where are they? Ah, here we are. L London Brighton Southwest Railway Craven Tank, Dark Grey, and Passenger Wagons. Let's see. To the millions again, but at least my passenger trains are now capable of carrying more, and with the three axles, it will be a lot more comfortable than just riding in coaches with just a pair of axles. So 1897 actually has been a pretty good year for my express service. Just drop off the load. And then be on its way. Though I want to basically get the maintenance backed up on this train. Because the what the proof of that baggage car does not look good. Another ship just picking up loads of machinery. That must mean this ship might be the one carrying the coffee beans. I'm hoping. Because there's also one coming in as well. And this episode might go on very, very long. And I don't want that. Hmm. Well, 
Well, fingers crossed. I'm hoping that this is the ship bringing in the coffee. And hopefully when that is brought in, we're basically done with this map. Millions of immigrants migrated to the New World, and Sao Paulo became the largest coffee producer in the world. The promises to the immigrants often turned out to be a lie. They did not get a piece of land, and had to work very hard to pay back the costs of their transatlantic journey. Reacting to the many proved cases of mistreatment of Italian immigrants, the government of Italy issued a decree, forbidding subsidized immigration to Brazil. Nowadays, 13 million descendants of these Italian immigrants live in the state of Sao Paulo, a third of the entire population. At long last, after 10 parts of episode 21, we finally got this mission done. With all of its coffee delivered to Italy, we are basically done with the Sao Paulo mission. So, let's head back to the main menu and see what our next mission will be. In 1919, the Australian government of the Belgian Antarctic Expedition of 18... Paris, 1889. The 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. To commemorate this, the French government is organizing another World's Fair. A time to celebrate 100 years of progress and to get France back on the world stage which will be in the next episode. Mankind is constantly creating a... So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industry for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!